Good morning, June W. Davis, pre-K friends. This is Miss Lundell. Today is April 1st. Today's April 1st. So what I want you to do is to go to the window and look outside. I think it's snowing. Oh my goodness. Go check. Just kidding, April Fools. You know, on April 1st, we often have practical jokes. So that was just my little joke for the day. It's not snowing, although I wish it were. So anyway, remember our assignment yesterday was for you to pretend to go on an adventure and to pretend to use a type of transportation to get there. So I'm going to tell you if I could travel like a dragon, I would want wings to fly anywhere I could fly. And especially to a mountain because you know how much Miss Lundell loves the mountains. So today on Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, we're going to talk about aerodynamic. Being aerodynamic means that you can fly through the sky. That's pretty awesome. Let's read our message for the day. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air. What do they do, class? Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air. What else can move through the air besides our make-believe dragons? What else can move through the air? That's right, a bird or a butterfly. Yes, you're right. Let's sing a little song before we go on. Is it there? <gasps> you know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> called If I Had Wings. If I had the wings of an airplane, up to the hills I would fly, flying around in the sweet breeze, watching the clouds rolling by. If ooh la la, 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 ooh la la lay. If I had the wings of a butterfly, up to the mountains I'd fly, floating around on the sweet breeze, watching the clouds rolling by. Sing with me. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la lay. Ooh la la, ooh la la lay. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la lay. Ooh la la, ooh la la lay. So, we're going to talk about some modes of transportation and travel that use aerodynamics. First of all, we covered this book already. What do you see on the front cover that also flies through the sky? Yes, an airplane or a jet. So we have this word here, jet, this word here, airplane, and what is that? That's a helicopter. You're right. We're going to look at some other things that can go inside of here. Was there anything else that grandma traveled in? Well, we have a car and a bus or a shuttle. Do those things fly? 
No, but Miss Frizzle flies in her magic school bus. Is that real? Is that fiction or nonfiction? Well, that element of Miss Frizzle and the magic school bus is fictional because buses don't normally fly. Now, do airplanes or jets normally fly? <laughs> yep, they do, and that's for real. I've seen it, and I, have you ever been on one? Awesome, that's so much fun, and it's kind of scary, too. Look at that. There's Grandma. She's on the airplane, and then she got on a bus. Does a bus fly? No. And there she is. And she, then she got on a subway. Does a subway fly? No, it uses a rail system, like a train. Does a taxi fly? No, it doesn't. You're right. I wish a bike could fly or a scooter. That would be so awesome. So aerodynamic means that it has the ability to lift up in the sky and travel through the air. So I was wondering if something in nature also travels through the air. Oh, you remember from the song. Yes. You're right, butterflies, and what else? Birds, you're right. Now we covered a book last week too that talked about move, how animals or creatures can move. Is there anything on the front cover of this story that can be aerodynamic in real life and fly? You're right. The ladybug, ladybugs can fly. That's right. Can a worm fly? <laughs> no, it can wiggle. <gasps> There's the, the cute little ladybug. Are they really flying? No, they're hopping or jumping. <laughs> Have you ever seen a snake fly? No, I haven't either. What about a bee, a bumblebee? Yeah, a bumblebee can fly. Those are some things in nature that can fly. So we know airplanes, some bugs, birds, birds like the pelican, and a helicopter as well. Good job, class. So today we're also going to be focused on some letters and letter sounds that go along with our transportation, our modes of transportation. So we're going to read this story together, and I want you to say the words as you see them. What, k, an, go. There are a few items up here this, this boy is thinking about that can go. Can you think of anything else that can go? Okay, good job. So, which of these items are aerodynamic? Yes, good job. The jet or the plane is aerodynamic because it can fly in the sky. Let's go ahead and try to read some of these words. I know some of you already know these, some of these words. What can go? There he is, thinking again. The k ab k an go. Let's say that again. The cab can go. Yes, the taxi cab can go. The, what is that? Starts with a B. B, us. The bus can go. Good job. The van. You're right. Van can can go. The van can go. 
the j et jet yes the jet k and go let's read it again the jet can go the sub the sub can go you're right let's say it again the sub can go you know what else can go the kid can go yes and what is he using to go his legs good job i hope you get some exercise today and use your legs there are lots of ways that we can travel and today we learned the word aerodynamic aerodynamic let's clap that out with me aerodynamic Ooh, how many syllables or beats are in that word aerodynamic how many five syllables good job now give somebody in your household a high five and then go wash your hands y'all have a great day and looking forward to seeing you because when i do i'm gonna feel like flying or soaring i miss you so much right on guys